Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series I just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering everything releasing in an upcoming collaborative release between Palace Skateboards and Spitfire as they are collaborating for Palace's week four of their summer 2023 collection. A collaboration of the skating gear, or at least I think Spitfire is skating gear. I like, I vaguely remember as a kid, early 2000s, I had friends that would rock Spitfire gear, and I remember someone having a Spitfire skateboard uh, from like, for, I remember their like their iconic logo and I, that's why I associate, associate it with skate gear, but uh, like, I could be wrong, could be wrong, but from, from, from what I know it is. <laughs> well, well, we'll see if that's the case with a Hypebeast article that we'll be using today to cover everything to do with this release, but uh, yeah, from memory I think I'm right with that one. But yeah, we'll be covering uh, the release details for this collab, all the individual pieces, my thoughts and opinions on the collab as a whole. Uh, we'll head on over to that Hypebeast article now and we'll start covering the release details for this week 4 collab. Here is the Hypebeast article that we're going to be using today guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below for you guys to read if you want to. Uh, we'll quickly cover the release details for this collaboration. So take a closer look at the Spitfire X Alice Summer 23 collaboration. The range will release alongside week four lookbook items um, both in store and online starting May 26th, which if today is Wednesday the 24th, Friday the 26th, that all checks out. 11 a.m. EDT time on the brand's official web store. Yep, and 11 a.m. GMT time for the UK store or the international store essentially um, it'll be releasing a day later on the saturday uh, on the 27th as it kind of mentioned there uh, and in japan on the 27th 11 a.m japanese standard time on palace palace japan's web store uh, it'll release in store as well in palace uh, palaces japan uh, in store locations their brick and mortar stores uh, and then of course, as it mentions here, last but not least, it'll be available officially on palace underscore skateboards uh, on WeChat for China. Uh, on the same time that Japan gets it, uh, May 27th, 11 a.m. Chinese time. So two different drop times, most of the world on the Friday, 11 a.m. GMT time or EDT time. Uh, and then Japan and China get it a day later on the Saturday, uh, 11 a.m. in their respective time zone there, like it always is. But if you're confused or you have any other further questions, uh, comment section below, hit me up on Instagram, whatever you like, I'll try and help you out the best I can there. But now that we've covered all the release details for the collaboration, we'll dive into the individual pieces. Uh, obviously, this is not covering all of week four, as there's going to be seasonal pieces releasing in week four, so stay tuned for a drop list video for that to come as well. But uh, yeah, let's dive in and check out at least the collaborative pieces releasing in week four. To start it off with, we've got a collaborative t-shirt, Palace being split in half with uh, a, a collaborative um, Spitfire logo. Live to Bun. I actually like it. Nice little logo on the chest. I hope it doesn't have something huge on the back. Okay, no, I'll give it. I'll give it to this one. I'll give it this one. This, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I actually like the color of the orange on the green though. It's a nice color combo there. We got the red. We got the uh, brown. We got the white. We got the black. I think my favorite colors out of all the t-shirts is the black and the green. I think they really hit. That would be really nice to just have it as big as possible. Really big oversized t-shirt. I could see it. I could see it. I'd like it in a 2XL. Yeah. Uh, moving forward, we've got a polo. Uh, I, I, yeah. You, you're really going to have to sway me for a polo. Uh, this one, I think I'm a bit of a miss on that one. Comes in a green, comes in a white. Okay. It only comes in a couple colors there. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think the polo is for me, but maybe you're a polo guy. Go for it if you are. We've got the knit sweater. 
I'm more of a fan of the knit sweater. I like the collaborative logo here on the knit sweater. <laughs> I think it looks sick. And the color choices are really nice as well. This light blue with the purple. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I was worried. I was like, oh, are they going to chuck like a huge ugly logo on the back? But it's just got palace in like a gothic kind of style font. Um, okay. No complaints. I like it. I like it. I like it. And the color combo. Very nice. Very nice. Comes in a pink. I think the color combo here is really nice as well. I think I prefer the blue. We've got it coming in a cream as well. I like it here as well. That was actually more color offerings than I was expecting. I was expecting only two, but they gave us three. I'd say the blue's my favorite. The pink is really nice. And the uh, cream or... Yeah, I think cream's probably the best way to put it. Is really nice as well. Next, we've got some basketball shorts. Um, these are okay. I wouldn't come to Palace for basketball shorts, but if you like the collaborative works between Palace and Spitfire, here you go. There you go there. Okay, the red and black ones are actually quite nice. It's a nice color combo, very classic color combo there. Coming in the red with the gold, that's okay. Moving into the hats, yeah, I'd say that the black and red's probably my favorite, most wearable as well. Um, interesting to see if there's gonna be a matching top half, but there might not. We've got a collaborative uh, cap, looks like to be the same colors as the shirts and the same logo as the t-shirts as well. Live to bun, fun little motif they're using for this collaboration. Yeah, these are fine. Fun little, um, what is it, six panel? One, two, three, four, is it five or a six panel? Two, yeah, it might be a six panel. Might be a six panel, looks like six. Um, we've got it, yeah, coming in a, in a black and a red, which is really nice. 3D embroidered design on the front as well. Uh, the blue is quite nice. Yeah, okay. So the I, I gotta say, the color combos for the hats, I'm quite happy with those. They're actually quite nice. Very nice little accessory there. If you're not too keen on like the very loud shirts that we have with like the huge graphics and huge logos, you can definitely go with a cap here and keep it a little bit more low key. This looks like a Frisbee, I think. But then why does it have that little dip there? Um. I don't know what this is. What is that? What is this? I have no idea. I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have absolutely no idea. But there we go. We've got, of course, some skate wheels. Um, yeah, these are fine. Collaborative logo on it. It's not covering the whole thing. You do get very little for what it is. Hopefully they come at an okay price. Um, I wouldn't want to pay a lot just for like a collaborative little logo there okay we've got another set of wheels for them as well um yeah again i, I swear they're skate gear so it's got to be right right um repeating palace logo all around it uh yeah live to bun on the uh, middle of it i think this is nice i like these ones more than the than the logo one before oh and they come in a red i like the red that's a nice color and yellow okay they're going all out on the skate gear and i really like that got it coming in the green as well yeah nice alice live to bun formula four uh unbeatable lasting performance i like to, that i like to you know show up <laughs> and it comes with all the packaging yeah okay that's it that is the entire collaboration how do i feel about this yeah it's fine i think this is fine I, I, two um skateboard brand rooted um clothing brands oh i shouldn't say clothing brands but just brands in general coming together i think they succeed again i need to know what that is. i don't know what this is i have to like i guess read the article and actually find out what it is because i'm so confused um we've got some nice hats i like the i think the knit sweater is my favorite yeah that blue and purple color combo, I just think that's sick. <laughs> yeah. Um, the polos weren't for me. The shirts were also fun as well. Like, I could imagine myself wearing, like, the black shirt. Um, you know, super oversized, keeping the, the outfit pretty easy. Just jeans, pair of Converse, is super oversized, keeping it nice and easy. Big graphic tee. Just something, you know, something not too difficult there. Yeah, I could get around that. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, all in all, I like I don't have any huge issues with this collaboration. It didn't blow me out of the park, but it didn't disappoint either. I'm I'm, I'm fine with this. It's a good time. Uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on it, though. Maybe you think it's a big disappointment. 
maybe you really like it because you like seeing Palace collaborate with brands that are more close to home, like brands that actually are in the skating scene and whatnot, maybe that's the case. Uh, I'd love to hear anything you have to say about this week 4 collaboration between Palace and Spitfire down in that comment section below. Well guys, that's everything to really cover about the collaboration. Uh, we covered the release details, it's either releasing on the 26th of May for most of the world or the 27th for Japan and China. We covered all the collaborative pieces releasing in it. I think it's going to be, like, I enjoyed the collaboration. And I think looking at week four, without knowing what the, you know, the seasonal pieces are that we're going to get in it as of yet, I think week four is going to be a good week because we have a pretty solid collaboration here. And then I'm assuming it's going to be a nice sprinkle of seasonal pieces. So I'm, I'm, my hopes are high for week four. Yeah. And how I feel about the collaboration specifically, um, it's exactly what I thought it would be, but I'm not mad at that in any way. I'm like, yeah, this is fun, you know, like, this is, this is cool. If you're a fan of Palace, if you're a fan of Spitfire, like, maybe one of your favorite skaters was uh, using their gear all the time, or still is, and maybe you really like Palace, I feel like this will be a dream collab for you. Um, it doesn't push any boundaries, but it didn't need to. It fun, you know, let's do some collaborative logos, let's work together. No dramas with me. No dramas with me at all. But um, I'd love to hear from you guys if you are picking up something from this collaboration. What are you grabbing? Are you grabbing the t-shirts, the knit sweaters? I definitely think that's my favorite piece. Um, or do you just want, you know, some wheels? Some wheels for your skateboard? Totally fair enough. Let me know what you're going to be picking up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace weeks, upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Palace collaborations, just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,645 subscribers before the end of May. We are very close to doing that guys and hopefully with your guys continuous support we can reach that milestone for the end of the month oh guys well it is like 11 30 i'm staying up late on a work night to get this video out to you because i want to cover this before friday and i've got to do that drop list video uh, at least before friday so i'm trying to get it out all on time for you all but uh yeah that's the collaboration covered. I'll try and get this video out to you as soon as possible. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something from this collaboration. I hope you're able to pick it up in size and color you are after. And until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Drop List video, until the next Palace Skateboards video in general, catch you later.